guys, I f***ed up. If you guys have known me long enough, you know that I like to consider myself a half-decent fisherman. I'm by no means the greatest fisherman that has ever graced the earth, but I feel as though I am good enough to compete at a pretty high level in whether it be tournaments or just regular world fishing days. But that all changed the other day. Oh my gosh, I don't want to tell this story, guys. This is this is a big... You guys are gonna, gonna hate me after this. All right, so let's go ahead and just jump right into this thing. I promise I'm not as bad at fishing as it's gonna seem in this video, so. So as you guys know, I recently got down here to college and this place has been absolutely killing me. I couldn't catch a fish to save my life. So I decided to sign up for a tournament. I thought it'd be a great way to go ahead and maybe get on a good bite, learn a few things, and just get better at fishing and have the opportunity at catching some fish. So I signed up for a tournament. And essentially the way the rules worked is that you got paired with a random partner. So for example, I didn't have a boat and I got paired with some random person that did have a boat that had also entered the tournament. So I got the contact information from my partner and we started talking a little bit about what we were gonna be doing and we had everything planned out. Now the night before, I knew in my heart that I wasn't gonna be able to go to sleep and wake up at four in the morning. It wasn't happening. So I took it upon myself to stay up from 11 a.m. the day before all the way through the day of the tournament. I thought I was gonna be able to do it. It was gonna be great. I was gonna be fully awake when we got to the, the tournament and I was gonna be good to go. So around 5.30 or so, my, my partner actually got here to my apartments and picked me up and we went to the lake. Now we got there a little bit later than we wanted to, but we still got on the water at safe light and we were able to go ahead and head over to the first spot. So the rules for the tournament were pretty simple. It's the five biggest fish in inches. It's a team tournament. So any fish that I catch or my partner catches that can add up to our five best fish in inches, that counts for our bag. We decided to go ahead and go over to the dam because we thought it'd be a good location to start off. A few other people came over there with us. They'd kind of spread out. And my partner picks up the 6XD and just starts throwing it. First cast. I'm in the back making my first cast. He sets the hook. I'm like, okay, here we go. Let's see how big this fish is. I see this thing come up and it is all the seven pounds. I run up, grab the net, one hand scoop, get the fish in. We are freaking out. We could have just won this tournament off the first fish. All we have to do is get a few small fish the rest of the day, make up our bag, and we're good. That is until I set the net on the front of the boat, the fish threw the crankbait into the net, and proceeded to jump through the air elegantly, giving me the middle finger as it flew back into the lake. Now, it didn't actually give me the middle finger, but I know my partner almost did. We were both in shock at what just happened. I could not believe it. I've never made a mistake like that in fishing before and I had done it. I had made the biggest mistake in my fishing career on a fish that could quite possibly win us the tournament. So we went onwards, partner caught around four pound, I think it's like 20 inches is a good fish, but we we're still just pissed off about that fish. We got over and we filled up the bag. Uh, my partner actually caught like seven fish on a drop shot just off this little uh, breaking wall. And so we got the bag filled up. We had like 60 inches, nothing to, or maybe 70, nothing crazy. And then we went over, we we're gonna hop on plane and go over to another offshore spot. And then the motor died. And when I say it died, it didn't actually die. It kicked out a gear. So instead of getting up on plane, it would only idle. You could give it as much gas as you wanted, but it was only gonna idle, that's it. So we had to end up idling across the lake in 90 degree heat with no wind. So we went ahead and did that. And we got over to the, the next spot and we had a few fish here and there. I popped off probably a 19 incher at the boat and I thought it was an individual tournament and that was gonna be my second fish from a bag. So I wasn't upset about it. I was like, okay, whatever. I just lost this fish. You live and you learn, move on. But then we found out as a team tournament, I was really upset that I lost that fish. It just, uh, their mouths are really soft as a power plant lake. They just, it, it popped off. Nothing I could do about it. And so it was just kind of like a move on situation. We got to our last spot. We had about an hour left. And at this point we had, like I said, around 75, 80 inches, something like that. Nothing, nothing crazy. But we had heard that we were the only other team that had a full bag. So we were, we were sitting pretty good. All we needed to do was cull a few fish and we'd be fine. And up until that point, I had two fish in my bag. I had like a, an 18 incher and then I had like another 16 or something like that. Nothing good. And that is when I flipped the switch and just dropped the hammer. I caught, I wanna say five fish in a row off of this one spot. 
I was throwing a Magnum Junebug Trick Worm and just slaying them. I got one, I think it was like 18 and a quarter inches, something like that. It fought like my personal best. I thought I had an eight pounder. It was insane. Got it in the boat and I pulled in another like a 16 and a half and a 17 or something like that. Three very solid fish I added to our bag. And at that point we were sitting at 88 and a quarter inches, somewhere in that range. And we heard that the other team that had a full bag had 84. We were hype. I, I was so excited that I finally maybe turned around and maybe made up this tournament for us. We headed up to the boat ramp. We idled up there in the heat. It was great. Got to the boat ramp, put the boat on the trailer. And from everybody we talked to, we were in the lead. We were good. I started getting stuff out of the boat, put it in the truck. I was so happy. I was like, man, we did it. And that's when somebody came up to us and said that they had two more inches than us. Yes, the winner of the tournament had 90 inches and we had 88. Had I not lost that one big fish at the beginning, we would have not only won the tournament, but we would have won the tournament by a good bit. So that one little three second lapse in judgment cost us both over around $250 a piece. There, there are some more reasons why we lost that tournament. Yes, the straight up inches being short two inches is the underlying reason, but there were a few rules that got kind of skirted around. I'm not gonna jump into it uh, unless you guys really wanna hear about it. I'm not gonna say anything about it. I feel like it's better just to move on. But there were some other, other things that contributed to us losing that I don't really agree with. But you know, it's whatever. My mistake is the real reason that we lost that tournament. And Broxton, if you're watching this video right now, I I have no words, man. No words. I really wish I could just have recorded it so I could just watch it over and over again and be mad about it. But I haven't stopped thinking about it since the other day. But there it is. That is the story of how I single-handedly lost us a $500 tournament. Now, at the end of the day, I, I felt like it was only fair that I go ahead and pay the full entry fee because usually you split it between two boaters. But... I didn't feel right robbing my partner of that extra $25 after we could have both walked away with $250. So I feel like it's the least I could do to go ahead and just pay both of our entry fees. Because like I said, I mean, I, I, I don't think I've ever had a loss that tough, that close over something like a three second mistake like that. But I just decided that was probably the right thing to go ahead and do. So if you guys have had any moments similar to that, go ahead and just drop them in the the comments below because I feel a lot better if I know I'm not the only one that just threw a tournament by not being able to net a fish. But uh, if you are new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a beat. I'll be making more content like this in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, JH Miller went out. See ya.